Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marvel Contest of Champions. And yeah, we're on the website, but this is not why I've brought you here. Today, I've brought you here to look at potential characters that they should introduce into the game Marvel Contest of Champions. I've got some characters from the last video that we did, which was called Most Wanted. So this is Most Wanted 2, and we're back with a vengeance. Let's get into some characters that should be in the game. Now let's talk about Iceman, because you guys said something that you'd like him in the game. In some sort of capacity, and I think you're right. I think it's a very good point. If we're going to get more mutants in, maybe at a later date when we're kind of low on new mutants going into the game, Iceman should definitely be one that's entered in into there. Because, well, it's pretty cool. Like, the downside is that appearance is everything. It's the main thing and the main thing that we all kind of know and love. Now, if you had, say, this appearance for Iceman, I don't think you guys would be very interested in, in playing with the character. It would look very odd um, and I don't think it would wet, would kind of like blend too well in with the graphics. The second thing could um, be they could get him very wrong. Um, they could give him maybe too much emphasis on, say, yellow um, and the blue. Um, I think if they were going to settle for something, they kind of go for a style which is is kind of more modern uh, because a lot of those styles with him just being constantly encased in ice, um, very kind of classic. It's only kind of been um, or in last, I'd say, decade or two that we've seen a distinctive change in the way that Iceman looks. So this kind of style here is pretty cool um, in that um, he has a suit over the top of it. <laughs> you might say it might be a wetsuit. Um, if you're going to make some kind of weird joke by it. Um, this particular style here, again, is very, very modern. And um, he's got this kind of anime type vibe to him. Um, I don't know if, you, if, if you're familiar with a lot of kind of like anime type stuff. You, the, this is kind of a, a, a kind of a look with it, especially with the, the jacket. But, however, when we've seen him in the film, we've seen this really kind of like long draped, um, I'd say in the most recent so that was days of future past we saw a character which uh, you know looked brilliant i must say they they did get the character looking really great could have made some changes to certain aspects but apart from that the suit was spot on one thing they must get right as well is the height difference and i'll talk about some other characters with what i'm going to refer to as should be big and others that should be small now with this character, he's kind of built at being five foot eight, so he's not going to be a very tall character. So it's going to be difficult to model him in size. Um, so hopefully they can get that right if they were to put him in the game. Powers. Now this is what is going to make the character really interesting to play. Now we've seen with Loki, he's been able to do those uh, ice spikes that have been able to come out of the ground. So Kabam have played around with ice. Now that's that's really good. That's a excellent platform to start off with regards to this character obviously the character has thermokinesis so there's manipulation of sub-zero temperatures which is you know amazing in any case and putting that into the game may mean it will see a lot of things like a, a stun stunning attack or maybe some kind of i don't know frostbite or or um uh, something similar to bleed but obviously this is going to be more of a, a freeze because we've seen incinerate with fire um, so more than likely we are going to see some kind of frostbite. And just quickly talking about Incinerate, the character will more than likely then have some kind of, well, resistance to Incinerate. So the character wouldn't be incinerated any kind of way, which would be handy for certain characters like against Red Hulk or against, say, Phoenix. Um, this character would have Incinerate immunity. I would anticipate if they were to release this character, then you would see something along the lines of a very powerful L2 and L3, which would probably look in the same kind of shape as a blizzard, maybe, um, but very highly powerful uh, maneuvers that will, you know, render the opponent kind of stunned and, like I said, frostbitten. So there's, there's so many things open for the character, which is going to make him um, completely imaginable and really looking to the different effects that are coming around him you know is it going to be something in the background something uh, you know the, the um, Nvidia shield has a very high and some of the um, you know newer devices look, look to kind of use stuff like uh, rain and as well as say uh, smoke and cloud well maybe they can do exactly the same for say water and ice which is going to make for such a very interesting playable experience where I see the downsides of a potential character, it would largely be in the attack. Because the character doesn't possess much of a strength while in ice mode, 
Um, he has not a huge amount of hand-to-hand -hand combat experience based on the fact that the character, well, shoots ice, controls moisture, um, and can augment certain kind of liquid um, to form some sort of protective and also attacking um, maneuvers. So you're not going to see uh, a great hand-to-hand -hand combat, which then I'd probably say that it would be more interesting if the character retained any kind of human form, which it won't. It will probably be ice constantly. And when it fights with ice, more than likely it will have some sort of, I'd say similar to Miss Marvel, uh, Kamala Khan, where, you know, obviously her hands change, they kind of extend outwards, grow larger. Um, I would say the same thing can be said, but the light attacks and medium attacks will probably have, say, uh, an enlarged kind of ice fist um, or something that would look like it would be causing equal to, if not greater damage, to the damage being received whilst doing the attack. Um, all in all, I would I would really like the character in the game just to kind of create some right, really unique synergies. Um, th I think that the L2s and the L3s will probably make it for the character being completely unique. Um, but um, obviously, we really wouldn't know. There may be more kind of use for, say, having armor up, stun when the L2 and L3 is put in. That frostbite, I said, will be a unique kind of... Um, uh, say attack to have or kind of um, uh, demoralizing effect or uh, or kind of weakening effect so uh, do look out for that maybe even have a fury of some kind but more than likely it will be the ones that I've mentioned so the next character sentinels now you're probably going rich what are you smoking because why would sentinels be put into the game well hear me out on this one now we're looking for kind of badass bosses in the game that we can really kind of sink our teeth into. Now, imagine, if you will, Alliance Quest or a kind of a game mode where you would have a larger opponent in like stature. You're obviously you're a smaller opponent. The character would do more damage. The thing is, we've got at the moment very kind of um, like for like kind of characters obviously Thanos is more powerful than certain characters so therefore why should Thanos be in the game if he's technically could take out the rest of the rest of the team with no kind of um, it wouldn't even sweat and he'd be able to take everyone down the same thing could be said for why why shouldn't Sentinels be in there but you could say no they shouldn't be based on size yeah they don't proportion well but most things could take down the character based on if it was sorry if it was a character things could take it down nothing is unbeatable in the game so i think it should be i think sentinel should be there and it should make something in a event quest alliance quest to be honest it would be good for another type of uh legends type thing so maybe um i don't know master mold kind of um a master mold mode try and say that master mold mode with featuring sentinels as being like mini bosses and then master mold being the end boss um the character obviously would be a tech if it was to be uh, put into the game and with regards to its like abilities it would just be like firing blasters or you know firing blasters you know causing bleed maybe incinerate um maybe um you know stun it would all these kind of like i'd say abilities the car the if it was a character to have would probably be pretty difficult to face off on and maybe more of a challenge for people that are kind of looking for something you know to fight off against that you kind of go do you know what this is actually pretty hard um as well the appearance side of things that i would like to, and you know we've got mutants in the game why can't we have something where we kind of face off in a post-apocalyptic event against some uh some badass sentinels with our mutants team kicking ass like why can't we why can't we do that i think it'll be really cool um but pff, hey ho um right let's go on to another character the final one i want to talk about is green goblin now i've gone for the harold osborne or harry osborne um version of green goblin because uh, it's just the look of the character really um I would like to see this character in the game. I think a lot of people would like to see the character in the game. Um, the character has actually already been teased by uh, Kabam in a photo showing different things like Loki's staff, uh, but some of the green goblins kind of pumpkin grenades were teased, which is kind of cool. Um, Appearance-wise, now the way the character looks, now the character did a few things with as, as Iron Patriot uh, and American Sun. 
Um, but that's not, not really kind of like what we're kind of looking for here. We're looking for the kind of green goblin appearance. Would they make him very kind of in your face, kind of not like the Joker, but kind of, well, maybe the Joker meets Hulk and procreated with, I don't know, a Vulcan. Um, but yeah, I think they would. They would make it very kind of like scary and menacing. And a lot of people said that maybe this should be around, say, uh, Halloween time that the character kind of gets a, gets a nod. Now, that would be kind of cool to do a Spider-Man event actually featuring Spider-Man. Um, because we did do something back a lot. I think we've done we've done like a Venom thing. We've done um, something with uh, the sp the sp a lot of Spider-Man characters. I remember it maybe was the Venom event. Um, which I think was quite, quite, you know, it was very well done, but um, could have had this character. It's like a good opportunity to put this character in the game. Um, it could be argued that there's too many villains on the Spider Man stuff, so, you know, it's still a character that you'd like to see. And the question obviously would be would the character get the glider? Um, I would probably say an L2, L3 and get the glider. Um, but you know the you know it's not out of the realms of unbelievable because they could do something with the glider being something that hovered the character off the ground. Obviously, Doctor Strange hovers across um, across the the game, so you know why couldn't the character be on the glider but a little bit off the ground? And would the character get the pumpkin grenade? Yeah, more than likely it would be L two L three. Um, it would be nice to kind of introduce this stuff not needing L2 and L3. Um, but it's just the way that the kind of the game operates there. It, it would be that. Um, that's what I really like about Nightcrawler was implemented with the swipe back. Obviously, we've talked about Quicksilver in the past, uh, Professor X. If they did these characters, they've got to consider so many different things. So I do not envy Marvel Contest of Champions and you guys in uh, Kabam uh, to make the character right before letting us see it so uh hopefully you can and good luck powers for the character well obviously it's going to be a science um he's taken the goblin serum so therefore um everything has been altered uh so superhuman strength superhuman speed superhuman stamina durability regenerative healing factor superhuman agility and reflexes now um i can see the character getting a large amount of those powers I don't think you will get regen healing factor. The way that the game kind of does come in line with what the character, character should have in the game is um, we've got regeneration in the shape and form of the mastery. So you will see people kind of like getting health back and that's really kind of what we say is regeneration factor, even though they don't regenerate a huge amount. Um, unless you're a regen character, so therefore it would come naturally. So superhuman strength, so maybe a fury in some kind of way that kind of increases it. Um, you know, could uh, could be crit. Uh, speed wise, yeah, the character it would be fast, like kind of Spider-Man type fast. And imagine them both pairing off against one another. Um, because the character's reckless, mm, unstoppable, mm, nah, not likely. Um, when it comes to certain things like um, throwing the bombs, what would they do? Um, incinerate maybe that would be caused um more than likely bleed to be honest that does seem like more of a kind of a, a logical thing that bleed would be what the character would get durability so maybe the character would have um an armor up in some kind of way um or if not be able to take down people's armor um, not a carbon copy of spider-man but maybe have something with regards to putting in an armor break um when it comes to agility and reflexes Maybe on the reflex side, maybe on the reflex side, you could see an extra or could see something with parry. But then you could argue that, well, the masteries cover that as being authentic to the core material base. Um, so that's the argument's really kind of there for what it would really be. But I think that it's it's going to be uh, a little bit of Spider-Man. So we get armor break, maybe a little bit with a bleed. Um, could even be a little bit of armor, but it's hard to really kind of say with that. And... Uh, yeah, character would be really fast and maybe a bit of a fury as well at the same time. Those have been our characters we've talked about. So we've talked about Iceman, we've talked about Sentinels, we've talked about Green Goblin, we've talked about Misty Knight. Now these are four characters that I think should be introduced into the game at some point. Obviously we've talked about potentially what they would be. So obviously Mutant for, for Iceman, we're talking 
tech for Sentinels, we're talking uh, science for Harry Osborn as Green Goblin, and finally we're talking about potentially, yeah, it's got to be skill um, for for Misty Knight. Obviously, people would say, well, could you really kind of say that was a tech? But obviously, Winter Soldier is a skill, so more than likely it's going to be a skill as well. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what characters you would like to see and i'll do a video on them and maybe we'll talk about potential abilities as well as maybe the uh the, the classes um and if maybe if we're right this would be really good and hopefully kabama watching this and maybe can listen to you as well um maybe leave a comment as well and just say well do you agree with these do you think that maybe one of these should have been a different class and as always remember to follow me on twitter uh, the link is in the description Remember to subscribe as well if you want more awesome content from myself and talking about comic book stuff, as well as the characters and the game at large. Like this video, enjoyed it, and as always, I shall catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.